What's going on YouTube? This is Deke back with another intro to the European football season. It's what everyone's waiting for. It's what I'm waiting for. I'm excited. Uh, July 15th is the first official date. We have some leagues coming back. Uh, the Austrian Bundesliga. Make sure you take a look at that intro. Uh, and now we're on to the Swiss Super League. So out of Switzerland. Uh, and then part three will be on the Danish Superliga, uh, which is kind of what we're getting into to get started with the kind of smaller leagues kicking off a little bit early. So Swiss Super League, only 10 teams here, as you can see. Only one team gets relegated. The ninth spot goes into a relegation playoff with the second spot from the Challenge League. So as you can see here, uh, Luzerne was in there, uh, but they were the playoff winner. The team that is out is Lausanne Sport, and the team that is in for this year uh, is Winterthur. Uh, it's their first time since 1982. I had to look, forgot what team that was. So first time since 1982 that they've been up. Uh, your league champions last year were Zurich. Uh, Zurich was, you know, very dominant, 14 points above... Uh, some of the bigger boys, uh, Basil, or Basil, however you say it, say Basil, uh, young boys as well, and then you have Logano, who they qualified by winning the Swiss Cup, so that's how they get Europe football. Uh, so, what you're looking at is Champions League second qualifying round for Zurich. Uh, Basil, Basil is the Conference League second, and then third for winning the Swiss Cup for Logano. Uh, Basil and Young Boys are those two. So that's kind of what you're looking at as far as midweek exposure. Uh, let's take a look at some of these scores. Sadly, this league is not really covered at all other than people that made transfers in the past. So that's why they have cards. Uh, it's going to be slim pickings, but I do have some players that are interesting and uh, could be some values. And I have a little bit of a mini threshold team as well that we can get into at the end. So if you want to skip ahead to that part, It'll be towards the end. From your top scorers, uh, Arthur Cabral is not here anymore, but the rest of these guys are. Uh, Cisse had an amazing year last year. He had 20 goals and 10 assists in league. Uh, really unbelievable, but he doesn't have a card. Uh, that would be one guy that would definitely be, uh, he'd be high priced, but that would be a guy that you'd want to have. Uh, you can kind of see the list here of the top scores. As far as clean sheets, Take a look, Lindner is gone. Uh, Hits will be taking control of that starting spot from Dortmund. And uh, Lindner has moved on. Where'd he move on to? Sion. Sion, Sion. Uh, so he is still in the league, but he has moved on to a different team. All right, so let's go through some of the teams. Uh, we're gonna go in order of finish last year. So we'll start with Zurich, the champions, Zurich. Uh, they have Jonathan Okita, so he is the only player that is covered on uh, this team. If you take a look down here, he is a reserve forward. He came over from NEC. He should be a rotation guy. Uh, nothing really of note. Again, Cisse was the guy that I would definitely be. You can see by his uh, L5, pretty solid year. Uh, L40 of 55, that's pretty nice. Uh, Okita, if you take a look at his from last year, his scores, he started a lot for NEC, uh, and you know he put up some of those high scores. That's why his price is up there. But without really knowing what kind of role he's going to have for the champs, you know he could get into a good spot. But Tosin was the other starter uh, up top, so I think he's the third. Uh, Tosin's only twenty three. Cece had that great year, so I don't know how much he'll play. So I'm staying away from him. Second place. FC Basel. Uh, Lindner, they haven't moved him over. He's at Sion. He doesn't have any cards, uh, but he's moving over. Marwin Hitz is coming over from Dortmund as a goalie. Uh, he is less than 0.1. You know, he's right under that threshold. He is definitely a guy that we're going to talk about uh, as far as goalies. There's not many goalie options as far as players that have cards, but he will come up again later. Uh, they do have an, a couple other players. They have Noah Katterbach. Uh, who was on loan from Colm uh, until December 30th. Uh, so the next year, so whenever we hit 2023, he'll go back uh, to Colm. Uh, don't love him. You know, he plays left back, so he has to pay that tax. 
Uh, another guy that we will talk about again is Berger, Loiter Berger. Uh, midfielder, he's 21. A little bit pricey, but he had a really good season. Uh, but again, we'll talk about him. Uh, let's see, who else do they have? They have uh, as striker, they have Adam or uh, Adam Sele. So this guy, he's of note. We'll talk about him again uh, later on. He's kind of an older striker, but he has been in the Hungarian system uh, for a while now. But as you can see recently, the last four, he started all four in that very good run of form, you know, beating England twice. Uh, in the Nations League, and he started a lot as well. But then uh, he's very risky in terms of is he going to play or is he not going to play, which kind of keeps me away from him personally. Uh, and then the other one, let's see, Jolson Fernandez. He only has rares. You can see his rare price there of 0.3 is his recent price, 0.441. Uh, you know, I'm not really that interested uh, in him. So we'll get to the third place, Young Boys. Uh, they only have two players. First one being uh, a central mid. So we'll go down to central mid. Is Czech Niase. So he uh, is interesting. I'll talk about him in a little bit. So we'll save him uh, moving forward. And then the other one is a striker. And it's Cedric Iten. He's from Rangers. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he uh, moves in to this squad. So their starters last year... Uh, was the American, Siabachu, and Kanga. And then Elia played as well. So they kind of rolled with all three of those guys. A lot of guys getting rotational time. So I don't know if he's going to slide right into the lineup, but as his price sees, uh, you know, that could be a guy that people are interested in. Uh, again, I, I want to see some lineups before we're making investments too much. I am doing a little bit on speculation, but... I'm kind of just waiting for transfers to be finalized to make sure uh, some of these guys that are a little bit extra risk, uh, you know, can make a, a good decision on them. Next one is Logano. So Logano has a couple players. They have Milton Valenzuela. He has a left back right here, 23 year old, uh, pretty cheap, and a striker. They have Ignacio Aliceta. Uh, as a kind of reserve guy as well. So nothing really to see there. Uh, St. Gallen, they have a striker who is very interesting. I'll talk about him a little bit more. Julian Van Vaughn Moose. Uh, he's 21. Uh, it says he's a sub, but he played a decent amount. We'll talk about him again. Uh, next up is Servette. Servette has a few players. They have Moritz Bauer. They have uh, Bobakar Fofana. Chris Bedia and Dimitri Oberlin. So I'm not really interested in some guys only have rares. So we're going to kind of just skip over them. I don't see any uh, SO5 value there. And then FC Scion. So again, uh, this is not your starting keeper. Uh, the Lindner from Basel is going to be the starter here. He did transfer. That is confirmed. Uh, and they are covered. So a lot of these guys all have cards. Instead of going through all of them, I will have a few that I'm interested in my threshold team that uh, you'll see as a kind of value threshold team. Uh, but I will highlight a few of those guys coming up next. Grasshopper. Uh, Grasshopper only has two guys, Ayumi Seko and Heyo Kawabi. Uh, Ayumi Seko we'll talk about again shortly. And FC Luzerne is our last team because uh, newly promoted Winterthur. They have a goalkeeper that's on loan from Scion, but uh, his name is Timothy Fayulu. He should be the starter. His price is 0.126, um, but I'm not really interested in anyone else there. And Luzerne uh, only has your keeper here that has a rare Veso Vesic, and he's a backup. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out a limited squad that I think you could put together with this league. This is a mix of value and guys that, uh, you know, I think have the best overall kind of bang for your buck. Uh, again, you just saw how many options I have to choose from, so it's not, uh, <laughs> not the best pickings. So at goalkeeper, you know, I'm gonna start with Marwin Hitz, uh, just moved from Dortmund to Basel. Uh, like I said, 
He should be the starter. Uh, he's played, I think, two of the friendlies so far. You can't really take anything on stats because he, although he did play three down the stretch for Dortmund, uh, you know, he was just a bench keeper and he played very sparingly. Uh, he's sliding into a spot that had the most clean sheets in the league. Uh, so that's a, a really good spot to be in. He is 34 years old, turning 35. So maybe he has a few years, but, you know, goalkeepers can play for uh, a reasonably long time. If you get him, they got newly promoted Winterthur uh, on the road first. You know, I, I really expect them to keep a clean sheet there. Uh, his rare is going for 1.234. Recent price is 0.912. So that's my first guy. And again, this is a limited team. Second guy is a Yumi Seko for Grasshopper. So he is cheap at 0 0.0176 is the floor. If you take a look at his scores from last year, he is a center back. We're not going to load. Well, that's a bummer. All right, there we go. Uh... He is a center back. He has marginal scores. He did have a 98 here, uh, which is nice. That was at his previous team, though. So he was at Osaka. So if you're familiar with the J League, uh, he plays for played for them until uh, the start of the season. You know, he's a threshold type player. I will include him in the threshold, spoiler alert. Uh, but as you can see here, he is starting a lot for Grasshopper, and he has 69, nice, and 64 uh, opportunities. But again, if we just take a look at his starts, he's averaging 50.1, but that does include some of these back here. Pretty solid guy, and at that price, that is very cheap, and he does have that under 23 utility as well. Uh, my midfielder is going to be Anto Gurkic. For Sion. Uh, like I said, Sion has a lot of guys that are covered. If you take a look at his scores, down the stretch there, he had a really, really nice uh, solid stretch here. 93, 81, 80. Uh, you know, he has some lower scores, but he's in the greens a ton. So that's a guy that his price is 0 .0498. I think that's kind of a steal at that price uh, if you're trying to get some exposure to the Swiss League. He plays for a team that is kind of lower table, so it's probably going to be matchup based. As you can see, he does have some low scores, but if he gets a good matchup, he has the opportunity. I mean, he had a brace here. He had a goal here. Uh, he, he can get decisives. Um, lead leaguer, uh, lead, sorry, league leader, Basil at the time, uh, they ended up finishing second. He got a brace against them. So he's almost matchup proof, but I would say you should probably play him in a matchup that's favorable, but Definitely good enough to make it. My striker is going to be Philip Stojelkovic for Scion as well. So you have limited choices. You have to go with a couple Scion guys. So his price is about the same, 0.0442. If you take a look at his scores, again, he has some upside. And if you lump him together, maybe you can uh, string some decisives together uh, with both of those Scion players. He has the upside, as you can see from those green scores. He does get decisives. It's a guy that i uh, definitely interested in and he made the team for the limited. And the last one, Waterburger. He is expensive, 0 .09999. Uh, his three-day average, 0 .0899. But if you take a look at his scores for a great team, he does have that upside as a CDM, CM mix, uh, 82, 87, 75, 60 as the ups. But he is very dependable to get in that 50 range. Sometimes he does have poor games. 24 starts, 11 subs as a 21 year old uh, so if you look at his starts this 11 is no good but he was pretty consistent uh with a couple spikes i think he will improve this year he is a young player pricey but i do i do think he improves significantly so if we take a look at this team hits seko gurgic stojil kovic and Berger. your lineup floor price is 0.311 the lineup recent is 0.293, so that's not bad. Uh, as you can kind of see, there's not a lot of picking from uh, this league, but you can put together a decent team. I don't mind any of these guys. I don't have any of them in my personal gallery. I was thinking about buying Seko and maybe Gergic, uh, but if you're trying to go that route, not financial advice, this is just kind of the team that I would put together if I just wanted a Swiss League. 
So the last thing I'm going to leave you with is a threshold team. I'm not going to pick a goalie because hits would be the one I use and he's too expensive in my opinion to even think about in a threshold team. So you would have to come up with your own goalie, uh, especially in August whenever this switches over to actually having to play a rare goalie. It, it is going to get a little bit more expensive if you don't have a rare goalie. This is going to be a team that it is a budget threshold team with maybe an upside guy or two. Uh, I believe these are all pretty cheap guys, and uh, you'll notice a theme with the people that I'm picking from. So, uh, Seco, if you take a look, 0 0.105, pretty cheap as a rare. We already talked about him, so I'm not going to go in with him. The next one, the midfielder, is 32-year-old Luca Zuffi. So his card is very cheap, 0 0.035. And if we take a look at his playing. He had 26 starts last season. He isn't going to blow you out of the water, but he is around that 40. So he's averaging 44, which is nice. Uh, he's not going to kill you. He should get you across the line most of the times. But again, from picking with what I have uh, at that price, he is a guy that could get you that threshold help you out there. Uh, my forward, we'll try this name, Itatinga, Itatinga maybe. Uh, his price Recent price, 0 0.136, 0 0.179 on the floor. So he is from Scion, and if you take a look at his scores, down the stretch, he started the last five, and 38, you know, not great, but he does have that goal upside. There wasn't a lot of cheap guys that really I could say that I would spend uh, to get that rare. So this is a guy that if he does score, he is going to help, but... You know, 38s don't kill you if some of your uh, other guys can, you know, bring them up. He did have a stretch here that he did not play. That was due to injury, 18 minutes, and he got hurt. Uh, so he does look like a starter for Sion. Uh, if he plays the left, right side, striker, you know, he's very versatile. So that's a guy that if he stays healthy, as a lot of people are, that I think he is an option. And then my utility guy is going to be Jan Jan Bamert. 24-year-old, uh, also Scion. So his price, 0 0.073, but 0 0.05 is kind of what he's going for. If you take a look at his, uh, he is a right back slash center back. I would prefer if he played center back. Uh, right back kind of crushes his value a little bit, as it always does. But most of his starts are at center back, and you see he has some really nice performances uh, for that. So if we just take a look at our starts, 22 starts, one sub, he does have that upside that uh, can really help you out. And he, he doesn't really go that low. You know, Whenever he played right back, he had two low performances. But whenever he plays center back, he's usually in that 40 plus range that would give you that threshold. So what this team would look like, again, I don't have a goalie with them because I don't think there's a viable league. Uh, goalie since so rare doesn't really cover them. They don't have other than Scion and guys that have moved to this league. Your floor price is 0 0.392. That's not terrible. Uh, I think this team would get you. If you take a look at, uh, I'll go year to date. Um, okay. 194, 211, 167, 179. Uh, decent scores. I don't have a goalie in there. So if you throw a goalie in there, you're at least getting the lower threshold pretty much every time if not a shot at the upper threshold. Again, uh, I wouldn't go about starting my uh, threshold teams with this, but this is what you can do with this. All right, uh, I'm gonna give you three names out the door, just as other guys to watch from the league. Uh, the first one is Czech Nyasi from Young Boys, uh, solid team, they, they'll fight for the league title for sure. He didn't play a whole ton, uh, but he is younger, but whenever he did, get into the squad, you know, he looked pretty good with some uh, really nice performances at CDM or uh, Central Mid. Julian Van Moose from St. Gallen is a guy that I'm interested in. He is expensive though, but if we take a look at his so five scores, take a look at that down the stretch. Uh, he didn't play the one time here and then he came off as a sub, or came on as a sub, excuse me. 86, 64, 73, you know, look at all these uh, green and he does have lower, but he is a decisive guy. He scores a lot of decisives, and that's a guy that you want to have some exposure to uh, if you are going after some upside games. Then the last guy, we talked about it. We already went through him, Hungarian, uh, Adam Saleh. And again, very risky. You're going to get a lot of DMPs with him, which you don't like having in your gallery, but 
Uh, if you're thinking about maybe international breaks, he is playing for Hungary still. How long will that last? He's 34 turning 35. Probably not too much longer until he retires from that. Uh, but that is the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I appreciate all the views that I'm getting on these videos. Comment below what you liked, what you don't like. Uh, any guys from this league that I'm missing. Uh, again, the player poll from this league is not great. But I hope you guys liked the video. If you could, please like and subscribe. That would help me out a ton. Uh, and then please look out for your next video coming out in maybe a day or two. And keep this train rolling. Alright, see you guys.